I could go back to my 18 year old self, I'd say slow down and enjoy the ride a little bit more. I just make sure that I, you know, take every moment for its worth and make sure I take the little things and appreciate them even more because it passes by super quick. I'm pretty sure everything about Duke is going a better person. Just the people, um, the relationships, academics, basketball obviously has been a huge part of my life. And I really wouldn't change it for anything. Um, I can't imagine my experience anywhere else. So it's just been a great, great place to be. I think I've grown up a little bit, um, which is a good thing. I've made a lot of really good friends that have helped me develop as a person, as a basketball player. And I'm really appreciative to them for that. Um, but I think I've just, you know, kind of found myself a little bit more, learned what I like, kind of what I don't like, where I'm meant to be. It's been a really good learning experience. I think it's kind of hard to narrow it down, but my fondest memory is probably winning the ACC championship and just having all the balloons fall in Greensboro, um, celebrating with my teammates and knowing that you know our work went somewhere. My teammates, I'm going to miss my teammates the most. Uh, just the people, um, getting to see them every day and not having to really schedule a time to see each other, but just knowing we're going to come here and get to spend time with one another. And, you know, all the inside jokes, all the joking around, just, just the time we spend together. Scholarships are a big deal, but I had already, you know, felt my place on this team and I knew that that wouldn't change my role and I was happy about that. Um, I knew what I meant to the team and what I was supposed to do. and. Obviously the scholarship is incredible and I'm so thankful for it, but I'm happy that you know I had to put my work in first for it. Um, and my teammates were great with it, the coaches were great, and it was a celebration for a little while, but you know, the bigger picture is that it's about the team and what we're gonna do together and I'm just happy that I've been a part of it and can give something. The transition has been an interesting one. Um, Coming in and you know knowing my teammates are a lot better than me and skill-wise, but knowing that I had something else to bring to the team, I had to figure out how to develop that and figure out how to reach my teammates in a way that was different than something that they've experienced before. And I think as I, you know, grew up and had incredible seniors, Kathleen Shear taught me a lot um, about how to communicate with my teammates and figure out what to say and how to say it to certain people and you know, be that source of energy that they knew they could turn to when something wasn't necessarily going right on the court. And besides that, I knew that I had to compete and I was excited about making them better every day. And I, I didn't come into practice, you know, saying, okay, I'm a walk-on. I would come in ready to beat them, go on scout team, hit threes in everyone's face, make them run. And I smiled as they did it. Um, and that was all part of my development of, you know, saying I'm here and I'm going to push you guys as much as I can. The bench is a blast. I mean, you know, a lot of people say they don't want to sit on the bench, they don't want to ride the bench, but I think we've kind of turned it into a culture here where if you're on the bench, you better celebrate. I've told our freshmen coming in that, you know, we made that domain a place of support and celebration, and if you're not into it, then we're going to get on you. And it's just as important to bring energy there than it is on the court. Um, and I think it's really translated. I think one of my favorite things is seeing pictures of us celebrating on the bench um, over the years and you know seeing starters with me with someone who gets in a couple games um, and just seeing the happiness and celebration for our teammates. I think that's been really important to our development as a team is just knowing that everyone is in it and everyone is for everyone else. It makes me feel loved. Um, it makes me feel, you know, like I belong here, which is a really great thing to feel, um, especially, you know, starting off as a walk-on. And I just really appreciate all the people who cheer for me, who support me, who let me know that um, they believe I'm important to the team. And I, you know, know that from my teammates, but it's really nice to have support from a lot of people. And, um, 
going into my first game was really, really nerve-wracking. And now it's just kind of the way it goes. Um, and I'm used to it and I go in and you know, know what we have to do as a team. And if my shot's there, I'll take it. But um, we just do what we have to do to win and do what we have to do to accomplish our goals for that game. Now is being a grown up. Um, I you know, have the MCAT and all that other big girl stuff that I'm focusing on and taking it one day at a time. Um, I'll figure out what I'm going to do next year, maybe go work a little bit, but I want to stay involved in the program as much as possible and you know, support my sisters, um, come back see the coaches. I'll be around here for the summer, which will be really nice to kind of bring the newbies in and try to teach them a little bit from a grandma perspective. Um, but you know, just, just stay involved with the team as much as I can and kind of roll with the punches, see what else comes my way.